Good morning, everyone. We're, we're going to make um, a start. I think we've still probably got a few people who are due to, to join us, but we thought we'll, we'll get started and then we'll, um, we'll welcome them as they, they arrive. So welcome, everyone, to Soft's um, Family Day. Um, and thank you for bringing the great weather with you. I think every, every year we seem to have really great weather, so thank you for bringing that. Um, I'm Jan, and I'm the um, chair for, uh, for SOFT, um, and I've been involved with SOFT for, um, oh, I think, over 11 years now. doesn't seem that, that long. We're going to do some introductions for all of the, um, the guys from SOFT, trustees and, and staff and volunteers, but I won't do that now. We'll, we'll do that a little bit later on. Um, so... You'll have seen, hopefully, the, the agenda. Um, there, is a, there is a program, an agenda for, for the day, but actually it's, it's intended to be quite informal. So, you know, this is a day for you. So please do, if you feel like you need to get up and, and go out, there's coffee outside all, all day, so, so do that. And really take what, what you need from, um, from today. Um, this morning's sort of sessions are, are all largely people sort of standing up here and, and telling their, their stories um, and presentations. And we're really pleased to be welcoming um, Amanda and, and Zoe from Together for Short Lives, who are going to be speaking um, a bit about their work and their organisation later on. Um, and also Jenny Hudson, Jenny, Jenny, who's one of um, our new um, professional advisors for, for SOFT, who's also going to be talking about um, her work and, and the, the work she does with, with families. So welcome to, to Jenny as well. I think we're also expecting Jane Fisher from ARC, but I don't think she's quite arrived yet. So a few people that um, represent other organisations as well for you to, to connect with. And do talk to us during the course of the day. Um, we really like to get your sort of feedback about how you found the day, whether there are other things that we could do that um, would be really helpful for you. So please source us out during the course of, of the day and we'll, we'll try and make sure we, we talk to everyone throughout, um, throughout today. Um, now, I've got um, some housekeeping to do, which you probably read now, so I probably don't need to say much about it. But um, So we're not expecting a fire alarm today. So in the event of alarms going off, just make your way out um, the way that you came in. Um, the staff who are looking after the, the children will take the children, so don't worry too much about that. Um, if you are still practising um, distancing, then please you know, just respect other people, really, and just... If, um, if, if you wish to do that, just let us know so that we can make sure that that's um, available for you. Um, if you're into um, social media, which I have to confess I'm um, pretty poor at, um, but there are things called hashtags up there, please do use that because it's really quite nice actually for those who've not been able to come today to, to share some of what's um, happening and your thoughts on what's happening. So please do tweet or um, post on Facebook or whatever it is that you do. Um, we'd be really pleased for you to do that. And I think this afternoon, Sean will probably tell us about later on, but is also going to be walking around doing some filming of um, the sort of things that are available for people today, which is, is another way just really of sort of sharing with people who've not maybe able to come today or have not been to one of these to understand a bit about how they work and, and what they're like. Lunch will be at one o'clock, I think, in the restaurant. Um, there's usually a member of staff over there to sort of show us the area that they've reserved for us. So just make your way over there. Do remember to pick your children up for that, though, otherwise they won't get fed. Um, and let on you know if there's any dietary requirements that you haven't made us um, aware of. And then this afternoon, we're going to be splitting into sort of more smaller groups for informal discussions. Uh, we'll say a little bit more about that at the end, um, because if you're anything like me, you won't be able to retain it until lunchtime. So we'll, we'll refresh you um, about that um, a bit later on. So that's all the housekeeping. I think the only other couple of things to mention, hopefully you'll have, um, or if you've brought children with you, you'll have um, let them know where the children's area is. Uh, that'll be running all day. Um, we've got some, um, I think, magical entertainment for them um, this afternoon. And then opposite that, there's another room that's specifically for um, the trisomy children. Um, and that's the first time we've, we've done that. So we've got some sensory equipment um, and toys and things in there. If you've, um, so children like, like Maeve and S Simone, if you've got any feedback or anybody else has got any feedback on that, the sort of things that um, you know, Maeve likes to use or other children like to use, please let us know because we can look at um, you know, what, what we can do in, in future. Um, because I think you know, 
today's a, a day about soft, so I, we felt it was really important to try and cater for children um, with trisomy as well as the, um, the siblings. So do let us give, give us some feedback um, about that. And then we've also got the remembrance room, which is a little bit further down the, the corridor, or we will have it all set up as soon as parcels arrive from Northern Ireland. Couriers are not great for, for us. Um, so, but there is an area there if you, and I know, you know sometimes these sort of events and the things that we talk about are quite triggering for, for people. Um, and sometimes you might just need a little bit of a break. So do use that room and use um, other facilities around the, the hotel if you just need to sort of take five minutes or take a bit of time out and just look after yourselves as well during the course of, of today. Um, so I think the only other things to, uh, is there anything else to mention? Yeah, so at the end of, of today, um, please do stay and chat and use the um, facilities within the hotel um, as, as you wish. It's a lovely day, so there's some nice courtyard areas. Stay as long as you like, chat as long as you like. That's the purpose of, of today, really, so you can connect and support each other. Kate? All right, so yes, park, so parking is paid for. If you haven't yet, just register your um, registration number with the front desk, and then when you go out it'll recognise your number and, and let you out to you. There's no fee to pay, despite what it says on the, on the notices on the way in. Thank you, Kate. Um, so I think I've covered everything. Um, so I'm going to hand over to, to Sean, who's going to give us a, a bit of an update and brief on, on what's been happening within SOFT and some of the things that, um, that we've been involved in. So hopefully that will be of interest. And then we'll do a few introductions to, to everyone and, um, so you actually know who we all are. Sean. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, hey, well done, Sonia. There we go. And that's Sonia's new job. She'll be in charge of all technical things in the future. So that's podcasts, videos, and uh, all of that. So welcome, everybody. It's nice to see everybody here today. And I'm just going to go over a brief bit before introducing the team about what we've been up to over the past year or so at the moment. Because it always feels like a lot is going on for soft, and it's kind of hard to remember. I always get asked, you know, what operationally have you been working on? And whenever I'm on a meeting, I never write notes down, so that's, that's not a good start. And I sit there and I tend to talk about the last thing we were working on. Then after I got off the call and go, wow, we've done so much more, I'm going to get fired. But moving on. So looking back, my name's Sean, and I have my job role redacted, um, according to Sonia's thing. So I'm the charity director for SOFT. Um, started off as engagement officer now. Oh, what, two and a half years ago, so a long time. And I've had the pleasure of meeting a number of incredible families throughout that time. Then came on as the operations manager, which has now been transformed into the charity director as well. And I've had the opportunity to work with numerous charity partners and to get to know so many incredible people in this amazing community as well. So I just want to say thank you for the honor of having me here and for introducing me to your stories and taking me along on your incredible journeys as well. So what have we done over the past sort of year or so? Well, we've mostly expanded on what we've been doing over the past two years, which is really growing our digital presence because we're very, very conscious that obviously a little thing called COVID happened and we had to really expand and grow and change and adapt the ways that we work with people. And we bring them on board with our community as well and engage them. And we know for well speaking to different families that COVID was an incredibly isolating time for so many different people that they were cut off from the healthcare professionals. They didn't get to have that face-to-face -face support. They weren't able to see their friends and families. So we wanted to try and break down some of those walls as well. There's numerous things that we have continue doing that are a throwback to how Soft's always done things like the phone line, our email support with our volunteers as well. But we've grown out things like our Facebook group. So that's a massive piece of work that's been undertaken by Kate. Who's, we're on to eight Facebook groups now, I think. So we've really identified that there should be a group for absolutely everybody out there. And everyone's going to be in a different place at a different time. And we've had some really good feedback about those Facebook groups, how people will come onto one Facebook group when they're expecting a child. And then they'll move through the different groups as they're at different stages of their journey and speak to different people who are all incredibly willing to share. And it gives everyone a really, really safe place to be able to, to speak and share their experience and ask those questions as well. We've got incredible volunteers as well who help look after those groups. And I just want to say a big shout out to Lisa, 
who has done an absolutely amazing um, job of looking after one of our groups as well. So thank you so much, Lisa. The feedback we've had has been absolutely incredible and we couldn't do it without people like you helping and supporting us through this. We've also done our virtual family group meetings as well and that's where myself and Kate had a really good opportunity to meet so many of you out there. And it's been an absolute honor getting to meet you, talk to you, hear about your story and just share in that. And also as well, build friendships one thing that we've absolutely loved over the past couple of years is seeing how people join those groups and have those calls and then make friends with other people who may be local to them or even on the other side of the country in the UK. There's been so many friendships that have been formed from that and so many lasting relationships and it's just been great to be able to meet you but also help facilitate in you building those friendships. We've introduced what, 43 podcasts but I think we've done like four more podcasts since you last counted that. So. The aim of our podcast originally was just to share some family stories. The aim of our podcast has grown <laughs> astronomically. So we now have podcasts for pretty much every aspect of this journey and beyond that as well. And we've been speaking to different healthcare professionals, we've been speaking to different families all about their experiences, siblings at all stages as well. So we've really, really been trying to find something that will appeal to all sorts of different people at all stages of their journey. And not just through that expectant journey as well, this is beyond. So we're speaking to people 30 years after their experience as well and hearing how that's still with them and how that's gone through with their life as well and what bits they can share from their journey looking back over the past 30 years, for example, that they could give to parents today or siblings today, for example. And it's just been a really great experience getting to hear those stories. And the great thing is me and Kate make quite a good team with that because I tend to sit in the background and my camera's off and my microphone's off. I'm normally crying a lot of the time and then Kate cries the next day, but she holds it together when she's doing the interview. So if you ever wonder what I'm doing in the background whilst recording, it's normally that. But they've given us such a valuable resource for different people. So some people want to speak directly to a support volunteer and some people want to be able to ask questions on Facebook and some people want to join a virtual group call on Zoom but some people want to be able to just absorb that information in the background and listen to a podcast and gradually build up to the other support mechanisms that we've got. And the idea is that we'll have such a robust library and support mechanism that anybody, regardless of what type of personality they've got or what type of support they want, they'll be able to get that from Soft UK. Obviously, we rolled out all our digital fundraising assets and this year we've got some uh, interesting ones. So foolishly, I recommended that the team do a half marathon towards the end of the year really not thinking that through. So now I've got to start actually getting out there and running. But I'll have a vlog next week, apparently, won't I, Kate? Yes, so um, there will be a vlog coming of my training and how that's going. Um, Gareth is also going to be doing that as well over there. And he's far, much further in his journey than me. Sonia will also be taking part in that, who has run away, but she has been off running. She's definitely run a lot further than me. And we've also got our fundraising superstar, Sue Wilson, in the room towards the back there, who will also be running with us. So we're, no, they're excited for this, but it'll be a fun journey. So look out for that. We'll have lots more coming along and we've lost the display again, but oh. As long as I can see it on here, that's all that matters. Which I can, perfect. We're also introducing a whole range of webinars as well. So we've done our first couple of webinars, but we had, we've got something really exciting coming and I'm really, really proud of the name. I don't think anyone else is particularly, you know, Jan's shaking her head. We're gonna be calling them our webinars. Yeah, there we go. So basically we've had an ongoing project that we've been on the bus again, off the bus again. And this is all about creating resources that will be for healthcare professionals, charity partners, but also our families as well. The aim of this is to create something that will have that professional in a certain topic would come on board, give a presentation, but then we would also have something that would be great for families as well. So we would also then have a 50 minute presentation of a group of families maybe talking about the experience as well. So you get that really medical and expert knowledge side of things, but then part and parcel of that, you'll also get the family lived experience, which gives both sides of that. And we're really looking forward to putting those together. We're gonna to have all sorts coming in the future, but it is in the early stages of development at the moment. But hopefully, I'm going to, if I say it enough, and I keep calling it a webinar, it's going to happen. I think at this stage, it's got to happen. It's on record, it's on video. So uh, there we go. We've also been at numerous different events as well. So we've done um, online presentations. We've been at face-to-face -face events as well, just to help spread the message of soft. 
and what we've all been about. That slide took much longer than I expected. But onto the next big thing. We have a new website as well. Now this has been a long time in the making. I just want to say before we talk about the new website that we couldn't have gotten to where we are with this website without the old website as well. And I know it might have seemed clunky and slow at times and we had our issues with it, but we had some incredible volunteers who helped support us in putting that together in the first place. So I just want to say thank you to them. You know, if they are watching this live on the videos or anything like that, they helped us to get to where we needed to be to be able to develop the new website. So that's been developed by the central team. So that's myself, Sonia, Kate, and now Sarah's also been building out all the different resources on there as well. And we like to think that it's looking a lot more natural and human and more easy to navigate as well. If you've not seen it yet, it's worth I'll having a look at. Give us your feedback. We're always working on it. And the great thing is it's all developed internally by Soft UK. So that way we've got full access to change anything that we want to. I guess to an extent, depending on our skill set, but it's a really big project we've been working on. We're really proud of the results as well because it allows us to really host all of those resources that we've been rolling out, make them so much more accessible for people and make it so much easier for people to find what they actually need from us. You might have also heard of a little project or a little show called EastEnders. Yeah, it's uh, one of those niche things. I don't think many people have heard about this one though, but we were involved in the EastEnders storyline as well, and that was a piece of work that, hey, it died. I, I gave up. Oh, no, it came out. <laughs> no, no, I took it out because it went off the screen. Oh, let yeah, me try. You can try. Um, yeah, so we were involved in EastEnders. So Jan got contacted by them towards the back end of last year. And although their storyline was already, ooh, their storyline was already chosen, we wanted to be part of that. Oh, there they are. We've got it back. Don't Thank you. Me. I won't touch anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> We wanted to be part of that so we could help them to make it as real as possible and as understanding as possible and have all the real world lived experience as part of this story. And I've got to say hats off to the EastEnders team and the creative team as well. They involved a number of our community, they spoke to a number of volunteers, trustees, and they took on board so much of our feedback. So when we were getting to see those scripts in advance and a lot of NDAs for Jan, you know, she almost went to jail. You know, so it was, it was touch and go at some stages. There was a lot of feedback that they took on board from us and it was, it was just really heartening to see that storyline come to fruition and the feedback because we were very conscious throughout the start that the community would be wanting something different from what the storyline was going to offer just because of the subject matter there. But the way they handled it and the feedback that we received afterwards was absolutely overwhelming, just positive. And so many people came and shared their stories and not just about ended pregnancy, so many people shared their story about live children, about losing their baby, and there were so many touching stories and heartfelt stories, and the community really came together to share and to support, and EastEnders did an amazing job of making that happen. They did slightly muddy the water with a HIV storyline going in there, but the website just about coped, and also they launched the storyline news the day after I launched the website, so I was trying to do quite a soft, quiet launch, and that didn't happen because that happened, so yeah, there we go. We've also gone wild on social media as well, so you've most likely seen a lot of posts coming through. And one of the things that I've got to say, this is a massive shout out to Kate here, is not just the groups that you've been doing, but the amount of positive feedback we've had, not just from the community, but from our different charity partners, from different charity organizations and professionals as well, that talk to us and say they're now starting to mirror things that we're doing. We had a podcast the other day um, with two people who were looking to join the Board of Trustees for Soft USA, and they were really impressed with the stuff we were doing and they started to implement things that we've been doing as part of our social media strategy as well. And again, that's down to you, Kate, and the incredible work that you've been doing. So thank you so much for that. And I'm sure everyone can agree as well, it's a much better place to be able to interact at the moment on social media. The support and everything that you need for different places is hopefully more clearly signposted as well. And things are a lot more interactive, which is just great stuff. Our digital media library has grown, so we talked about podcasts. We've also got a large range of family stories. We've got more videos coming live as well as we go through. So our podcast, we're starting to do video podcast, which is interesting. We're getting to grips with that at the moment, but we've had some real big success recently on YouTube, on some old historic videos we've got, and on some new videos as well. And it's great to have people come on board to share their media with us, to put in part of those podcasts and make them into a video format. It just helps us to grow that reach and give people a different way to interact with us. And then we talked about the webinars. 
Um, I won't dwell on that too much because I was to say rare, rare bananas again, which apparently sounds like bananas, uh, according to the team last week. But it, it's been great fun being a spectator to different healthcare professionals and involve them in this process, find out what they're looking for from soft, what sort of resources they want as well. And the aim is to make them broad and also quite niche within as well. So that way there's going to be something for everybody as we grow that library out. And then finally as well, we have our new Tries Me advocate as well. So Sarah recently joined the, um, the central team as well. So welcome Sarah, this is your, your first event with us. And this is a really, really unique opportunity for us to be able to have an impact in this space. So Sarah has been used as a bit of a trial at the moment to see how well we can really involve that advocacy role. But we've recognized that despite being an organization that supports families with a child of Tries Me, we don't have all that many resources at times, and that's where Sarah comes in. And already, there are so many resources. There's more resources out there than I ever knew existed. Sarah's gone away, just collated them all, pulled them all together, and it's been really fantastic to see that start to come through. And it means that families have a point of contact now, rather than necessarily just coming through to the support team or picking up with Kate, Sonia, or myself. They've got somebody who's going to be really versed in that, who will be able to point them in the right direction to help them with any questions that they've got. Any funding applications, for example, if you're struggling with that and you're out there and you're not too sure what to do or where to find it or how to fill in a form, Sarah is your point of contact and it's just great to have her on board with this team as well. It's a great opportunity and a great person for the post as well. And that's me done. So that's soft in a nutshell for the past 12 months and I'm sure there's numerous things I missed off because I never write them down. But it's been a busy, busy year again and lots of things rolling out. And we're really, really excited for the next year as well. So hopefully, as we move forward, obviously we're going to have our rare bananas. There we go, yeah, got to keep saying it. But we're also going to be looking at implementing more localized family events as well. So if you've got an area where you've got a large cluster of people that you know as well, please do let us know. We're going to be doing some heat mapping to find out where all of our families are, find out where's best to have these events, and just see whether or not that's going to be something that appeals to our audience to bring people closer together in those local areas. Sonia's really looking forward to having a lot more planning in that respect, I'm sure, but uh, we'll see how that goes. So thank you very much. We're going to bring the team up now for some questions and answers as well. So Sonia, Sarah and Kate, if you want to pop up and join. Hear me? Um, so hi everyone, I'm Sonia. I'm the Events and Communications Officer now. So when I started with Soft, I was the Social Media Officer and then that got passed on to Kate when I went on maternity leave. So I came back and... My sole responsibility has been to put together these family days, um, particularly the, this one and Scotland. And as Sean mentioned, next year we're hoping to do more localised events and um, build sort of the local networks together and hopefully we'll come back together the year after to do um, our flagship one and have more people attend if they know more families um, you know, locally together. But we understand that it's difficult for people to, to travel. So if we can try and connect people um, locally hopefully that will make our networks grow. Um, I also work um, with keeping our connections with our external partners so Together for Short Lives, Genetic Alliance, um, working with them alongside their newsletters, putting things out that we're doing so that they know um, what we're up to and if they can reach out to their community so we just don't miss any, um, any anybody out. Um, the other thing that we are trying to put in, more into place is um, growing our awareness uh, within the healthcare professional community. So we're looking to um, put a, a project together um, where we're going out into the communities and hospitals and NHS and trying to target as many departments as possible so that, that they just know about soft, what we can do for their families and hopefully we're always going to be um, the first point of contact for anybody that um, has a diagnosis and they know to come to straight come straight to us um, for any questions or concerns they have. So that's an ongoing project and we've only just sort of scratched the surface of it and we're hoping to try and grow that in the next um, 18 months. So if anyone has any ideas for events or areas you think will be good to have these events, I'm all ears, so just come and find me. Thank you. Um, hi everyone, I'm Sarah, I'm the Transmi Advocate. It's really lovely to be here with you all. Um, so my role is largely kind of, as Sean said, kind of collating resources to help um, Transmi families. Um, so I've done one about kind of grants and funding, specialist equipment, 
thinking about planning for going on holidays and that kind of thing. I've got a few ideas for other things to look into. Um, if anyone has any ideas that they think would be useful to have resources put together for, please do let me know. And um, I'm sure that if anyone has any kind of specific needs that they think I can help with, please do reach out. Um, yeah. Thank you. Hi everyone, so I'm Kate Hart, um, the Engagement Officer. Um, as Sean Delivy <coughs> mentioned, I look after social media. I'm the voice you'll hear on the podcasts. Um, I co-host the support calls. Um, so yeah, I've been with SOFT since August 2021. Um, I'm here today with my husband Colin and our son Nathan's in the crash. But we're really here today because of our daughter Hannah. Um, so she was diagnosed during pregnancy with full trisomy 18. Um, she was born in full term and she lived for a wonderful 54 days. Um, and it's because of her that I got involved with SOFT and I'd also like to echo what Sean said. It's been fantastic to not only honor Hannah's life and, and keep her memory alive, but to be involved in your stories and, and how generously people have shared their lives and their experiences. And we often notice quite a few similarities in people's stories, but we've also recognized how unique each story is. Um, there's often things that surprise us in, in hearing people's um, different experiences. So yeah, it's been a real privilege to to be in, on your journeys with you, so thank you for sharing. Um, and it would be remiss to not mention that we're expecting a rainbow baby um, in August, so we're really blessed that um, we'll be adding to our family again at the sort of back end of this year. Um, so, yeah, thanks, thanks everyone. Yep. Thank you. Go on. Go on. So, has anyone got any questions for the team whilst they're up here today? Any hands to raise? Or... Okay, you dodged that one. <laughs> well, before I hand over, I just want to say thank you so much to you three. You know, I couldn't do what I do without you. There would be no meetings if it wasn't for these three, because I often get prompted to remember that. I, I don't remember that. So thank you so much. And a massive thank you as well to Sonia for putting this on today. So everyone's been talking already about how it always seems to run like clockwork when we have these events. And I've got to say, it does, mm -hmm. and it feels very easy. But that's because Sonia does pretty much all of the heavy lifting. So Part well done, Sonia, delivery. thank you. <laughs> yeah, part from the delivery to Northern Ireland. So <laughs> thank you so much for having me. Uh, so thanks for having us up here today. I'm going to pass you over now to Jenny Hudson, who is our latest professional advisor. So welcome to the stage. Thank you. Yes, I'll give that. Ooh.